Good morning, campers. All right, Mike here, and I've got my 2013-ish uh, Kenmore Elite front load washer, and uh, it was in the middle of a cleaning cycle when it just died, and the power completely went off. I tried the uh, hold the button, the power button for 10 seconds, followed by the pause play button for 10 seconds, it had nothing, and uh, so obviously I figured the fuse had probably gone bad, so I went and started looking into it. So here I've got the top cover removed, I've got the uh, the back pieces that hold the top cover in place, those have been removed, and uh, first thing I checked was the inline power filter which also has a fuse in it, but that fuse was reading good. And, um, and then I followed the power filter uh, lines over to the main control box. And here we have the main control box. And underneath my horrible, yeah, I know, I'm gonna get lots of comments on this. This is the ugliest soldering job I've ever done in my life. But what we're looking at here is, let's see, let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. Uh, the EBR, 7308-2110 motherboard from LG Electronics for this Kenmore Elite. Um, it's it, Sears Parts Direct, believe it or not, has it for $120, so I, I guess that's not bad. But uh, for $2, I got a, a fuse holder, and then a I got a 10-amp fuse because the fuse that's in there is actually a 12-amp ceramic. I replaced it with a 10-amp glass only because that's all I could find. Radio Shack is gone in my area and didn't have many choices. So I'm going to order it off Amazon. It's going to take a couple days to get. But in the meantime, uh, I soldered in this uh, piggyback fuse over top of it with a easily replaceable holder. So that way if it ever goes out again. And lo and behold, I'm going to... Plug her in here. No sharks, uh, sharks. <laughs> no sparks shooting everywhere and flying all over the place. Uh, hit the power button. Oh, look at there, sweet music. Go figure, three bucks. And uh, five minutes of the, the worst soldering you've ever seen in your life. So anyway, um, basically, I, I've looked at a lot of different things. We get a lot, I'm in Florida, so we get a lot of lightning strikes, and there's probably a good possibility that that uh, over time did it. Um, I do have a surge suppressor for the entire house, but um, from what I've been told, uh, e even on these appliances, since this is basically, well, excuse me, it is a computer, uh, somewhat of a basic one, uh, you should have a surge suppressor on the wall outlet as well, which I'm going to add as well. But anyway, so I'm going with 10 amps. Uh, the nearest thing that they had was a 15 amp. I'm not comfortable with uh, pushing it up to 15 just in case something was uh, a miss in the board or something like that. I'd rather have it pop the 10 amp fuse than uh, risk obviously a fire. So, although for troubleshooting purposes, uh, as you can see, um, and I'm going to use totally, I'm going to blame the lack of space and uh, my antique equipment for soldering on this horrible solder job. But if you see where the fuse is without removing it, um, it was it was rather a pain. Uh, however, to, to troubleshoot it, I created this little rig out of an alligator clip, uh, a big battery clamp aider, alligator clip, and a small roach clip. Uh, I don't know if they call them that anymore, but hey, just shows my age. And I was looking in there, and I couldn't get them to grab onto because of the lack of space. So basically, I just bent the prongs out on the handle, and look at that. And, and that fit over it perfectly. So it jumpered and bypassed the fuse, powered it up. I ran it through an entire uh, spin cycle with no issues and the board didn't show any other um, burnouts or anything like that. So I don't think it is a bad component. Although, since I don't have any diagnostic equipment with me here, um, this, is, this is extreme, extreme basic redneck troubleshooting. So here we is. This is what we got, and I'm going to go ahead and put it back together and fire it up and run it through a couple of wash cycles and see what uh, see what happens. Again, I've got the 12 amp replacement fuse um, on the way from Amazon and ceramic fuse. They're not slow blow, so that it's not really a big deal here with whether you have glass or ceramic. But the ceramic ones are a little bit more resistant to the vibration, and since this is a wash machine, obviously vibration is going to be a, a critical factor here. But this will get me through for the two days until I need to pop in here and replace it. So basically, I'm going to ba uh, put the board back up here against the back wall where it goes, put everything back together, fire it up, and see what we got. But anyway, so there, there you have it. Um, 
Sorry for the crappy video. I just kind of threw it together here at the last second. Obviously, you can see all the work's been done, uh, unfortunately, but I got the uh, idea at the moment, uh, excuse me, at the last moment, only because the... Uh, th there's no info on this. I can't find the schematics for the board. I can't find um, any real detailed troubleshooting techniques for this washer whatsoever, but the washer's in pretty good shape. Um, I was noticing a smell from year two of ownership, uh, just a little bit on the back, but of course, you know, Sears told me to suck it up buttercup kind of thing, because once it's out of the one year warranty, you are on your own. And, uh, but other than that, it works fairly well. And uh, I don't like the front loaders anymore. I wanted to go with a top loader, but you're looking at $600 to $1,200 for a new washer. I figured a $2 fuse holder with fuse will do me just fine uh, for another couple of years. Because uh, I, I don't know if you can see real well in here, but I mean, everything's in immaculate condition. It, it hasn't been used that much. And um, <laughs> come on, common sense, right? But if this thing ever craps out of me, definitely go with the top loader. But as you read, uh, if it doesn't have the agitator in the top loader, the new ones, they've just got the, the bottom spin, and those don't seem to work worth a hoot either. Um, definitely get one with an agitator. Maybe get a $500 roper or something. <laughs> the old one. That way you don't have to deal with this uh, um, electronic stuff anyway. But anyway, there you go. That's what we got. Uh, I believe the model number is 4107. Two or three. Two, I think, is the washer. Three is the dryer. And that's what we got here. So, anyway, <laughs> no comments on the damn soldering job. I know it's horrible, but I did the best I could. And it's rock solid, so I'm not going to argue there. Yes, there's pitting. Yes, there's uh, the... the um, clear silvery finish isn't on there. It, it, yeah, it, it's ugly as all hell. But guess what? It's working. So, there you go. The end justifies the means. <laughs> Have a good one. Later.